Beep, boop. We are recording again. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello. We are once again working on the from forum to reading samples, aka Epic Forum Leakage Project. <laughs> and in the previous session, we worked out this uh, scene where our heroes, Corey <laughs> Henderson, uh, Nox V1, the elder version, and new arrival Smith, that is my player character, are all trying to get a grasp of the techno bubble they have just been delivered. <laughs> and the ship that they have just been delivered. <laughs> and uh, this this is what you see in in the half a page here. We pretty much figured it out, and now our heroes are about to meet three other characters, all of whom have been featured in some of the earlier forum stories, and all of whom are part of the quote unquote old storylines. And some of these people have gotten lost through time, and some of them have gotten even killed. And now we are getting face to face to that with the whole premise that you will you will meet the people whom you know who are not the same. <laughs> so simple! So yeah. simple! <laughs> Easy! Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so I think we need a Corey react to Smith. Right, um, guys, you know these people? And Corey will do something like... What, what people? Yeah. Like, look, look. I think they're, they're headed here. Best of note takers. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is this is. I think this is how we've started doing it now. Like you, we come up with notes. You figure the notes out, and I'll type them out. And then we come back and clean it up. Teamwork is magic, yo. <laughs> yeah, the other other method where one person comes up with the first draft and then we uh, disassemble it and build up an outline and then uh, start putting the atoms back into the new outline. <laughs> that's a lot more uh, time-consuming and a lot harder. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you will end up with a more uh, complete product after that, but uh, but it's a it's a more difficult, uh, more complex method mm -hmm. that is more suited for short stuff. Yeah. But right now, because we are we are merely coming up with uh, reading samples, uh, the stakes are low. Mm -hmm. We're not overly worried about uh, presentation. We are not worried about repetition. Uh, it's more about getting the flow on and conveying what's actually happening. Mm -hmm. And to that end, I think we're doing quite well, if I do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Echo One. You've done <laughs> well. <laughs> this uh, has been burned into my brain at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Out, out of all of them, I think the <clears throat> first to be noticed is Risto. Like, he's the one who stands out the most. Physically so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and this way, uh, you can actually give a very brief description of three human figures before they actually get to the hearing distance. So you could say that there was... There was a guy, a huge guy, Corey couldn't believe his eyes, and then there were two women. There was a familiarity about all of them. And tangentially, I would say that they all have different gear than what they're used to seeing. Like, they mm -hmm. have been kitted out by Glorious uh, Murphy Station, maybe. So, it's like 
their their appearance could be a little bit changed. They might be a, a tad different age than they used to be. They might be wearing different gear than they used to have, but they their movement and uh, and gestures and and their sort of physical presence is recognizable. Like, could it be? Dun dun dun. And then one of the arrivals could be making contact first. So somebody they are not there yet, but they will somebody some of them will wave. Probably Taniki? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so one one of the women um uh, let me let me take it from here. Got it. Okay, first. Corey Huge grin <laughs> and uh, allow me to present. They are not. Th they are not in the introductions range yet. Present. Now I now I need to copy paste because I don't remember the names that I have been mm. I have been coming up with Kalovi Taniki 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 Kalovi Then he adds quietly to himself. Yeah. This is all still notes text, so let it be green for now, for the moment. And then uh, Elder Knox could could uh, mention something like, you know, it's not really the people you knew, or like it's 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 not really them, or like it's. It's other them, <laughs> something <laughs> of that sort. <laughs> oh, it's like you know, it's you know, it's it's it's. Uh, how should I put it? You know, it's uh, that uh, it's not them them. Yeah, it, keep, yeah. Keep, keep it that way. You know it's not really them, them, right? And Corey would be like, shut up, you're ruining the moment. Okay, so at the moment this this uh, Taniki bit doesn't apply mm -hmm. because uh, 
right now she hasn't really experienced what this core is like mm -hmm. and I think the whole loyalties and preferences thing is something that should emerge later like right okay. now yeah. it's just a happy reunion like, oh, mm -hmm. what are you guys doing here? Ah, funny story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, after this, they get within range. And then the introductions abound. Yeah. So at this point, they they are they are already in shouting range. So so it would be like, go over here, motherfuckers. Now <laughs> <laughs> well, this should probably go here, actually. Mm -hmm. This is where I have to start keeping notes to myself about who's present. Mm. Um. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh! You could have like, I know that you already have your murder boards, but you could all <laughs> you could all also have like scene scene boards, like for. Uh, <laughs> Basically, like like a tabletop game situation. Like you are here, the people present are this, this, this. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna end cards. up <laughs> taking over the landing and the and the rest of the house with sticky notes. <clears throat> <laughs> I could totally do that. There's enough room space in here. I'm gonna start using the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, I'm laying like in bed and I can see it. Yeah, surely cool. those, those, surely that space is for family photos. Mum, this is practically family. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So when they uh, when they uh, reach the actual introductions range, shut up. These are all technical terms like uh, what was it before? Notification range, shouting range, waving range, and introduction range. Mm -hmm. So once they are in the introductions range, then you could have each of the new characters do something that is very characteristic to them. So like, uh, Mia is bouncing, mm -hmm. uh, Tariki is giving a firm handshake, and Andristo is giving a silent, all-consuming hug, at which point uh, Corey sort of helpfully notes he doesn't talk much. <laughs> <laughs> We could change uh, all-consuming hug to like a stoic nod or something like that. Because while they, because oh, okay. they don't know each other, but they do know each other. Like Corey, you might initiate a hug, and ah, uh, no, okay. Well, it's it, it is a situation of I thought you all were dead. Hmm, alright, we'll leave it for now. And I've probably seen it in a movie somewhere. Like, I'm, I'm thinking it 
it wasn't snatch, but th there there was definitely uh, this 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 has to be a trope. Like there, I can distinctly remember there being you know some sort of faction crew, big silent guy who was very intimidating, <laughs> and then uh, when some sort of peril has been. Uh, uh, has been quelled, then he just sort of steps up quietly to another uh, character and and just sort of silently hugs them and then walks away. That sort of thing. <laughs> when you when you started with that, I thought it was going to be the chick sleeping on the couch who opens up with the brain gun uh, no. in <laughs> in uh, Lockstock. But as 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 your description continued, I was like, no, that's not her, but still an excellent scene. <laughs> <laughs> and, and at this point, uh, because of the surprise and the hey oh scenes change, uh, Elder Nox should also be able to sort of pull himself together a little bit now. And out of this lot, Tanik is probably the one uh, who can provide the technical uh, explanations. So she's like, yeah, we've been briefed. Uh, by, by the scenario, we were supposed to meet you at pre-designated spots, but they figured that since you're all here anyway, we can uh, we can just step in and skip all the all the uh, theatrics and such. So I, I would think <coughs> again. I'm I'm thinking, I'm thinking uh, from the perspective of the Murphy HQ right now. Mm -hmm. Like uh, if I were to set up these uh, situations and these scenarios and putting the crews together, uh, I would have certain crew members who have already been pulled to the Murphy reality and who have already been briefed and, and etc. So the people who who are uh, who are briefed earlier would be put into the quote unquote realistic positions or like they they would be presented they would they would be the actors in a situation where somebody else would uh, relive an existing moment and once uh, once it has been made clear that ah oh, no this is a new thing then then they can sort of explain so it's like uh, it's like uh, I'm thinking of a Darren Brown show situation where some guys were some guy was uh, was being convinced that that he wakes up in a zombie apocalypse. So uh, every, every, everybody, excellent. yeah. So everybody else, everybody else is uh, is filling in a role. So same thing here. The people who have been briefed earlier or who are already uh, getting in the program or already already inside the program uh, for a while, they can they can uh, operate as actors, recreating the quote unquote they already happened situations and then uh, and then later on like oh okay by the way things aren't what you s what they seem but in this case the whole uh, recreation of that scenario was uh, cancelled because these guys were were here early simple <laughs> so, ba so basically what i what i just explained is is something that taniki would be able to say like yeah we were supposed to uh, act casually in the bar, but since you guys arrived early, we have just been sent here to uh, to rendezvous. Rendezvous, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
nice. Oh, we have a whole lot of notes down here with, that we have already used up. So, the smiles benevolent and then oh shit, mental spiritual breakdown, eyes flower, something something, younger Noxies and younger self. Uh, maybe move them elsewhere if you want to keep some of it. Because now we're already at the at the other crew. I have no intention of keeping it. The only thing that is really implication wise is this. Mm -hmm. So I'll grab this mm -hmm. and put this uh, ooh. in a place. Yeah. You know that place. <laughs> oh, hang on. I'm going to put it above this for the time being. Mm -hmm. I'll come back and sort it out. At some point, Snicky Risto and Happy Meal arrive at the place where the team are gathered. These are not the same characters they've encountered in prior stories, rather, they're alternative versions. Risto is a silent giant, but Snicky is generally more irritated. Oh, Risto is still a silent, silent giant, but Snicky is generally more irritated. Oh, what's happened there? I deleted the, the used up notes. Mm. Okay, yeah, these, uh, these notes are also. Under the Nux Saturday, 27th of September. This is where I tried to start rebuilding this other post. Mm. So I can get rid of this. Because we've covered it now. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, the point how younger Nux isn't really the younger self of the, of the elder Nux. This realization. Keep that for the interactions between the two. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Like, you aren't even me! Well, thank fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, where is that? I think that's in a different storyline, isn't it? Uh, that's... Yeah, I think that's one of the next thingies. They do meet, don't they? During yeah. these new thingies. New forum threads. I think, maybe? When it's later... When Smith and Mia... Uh, leave the Alexis and come join us all on the Rejected Timber slash Uralis for that meeting. I think that's when they first have their first tete a tete. <laughs> With certain je ne sais quoi. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. So, what I'm gonna say is there's a thing down the bottom here that says Deja Vu continues at da 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 Hidden Sanctuary. Ah. Uh, and underneath that, there's a thing that says cut notes. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to sneak this. His younger self isn't really his younger self even, OMG. So if we come down to here, oh, and that point still hasn't... And they still haven't met one another, we can move the notes into Hidden Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. We can take it with us. It can piggyback. Mm -hmm. <laughs> piggyback. Mm -hmm. okay. And then where am I? That's a question I ask myself. An awful lot. Okay, here we go. Here am I. <laughs> oh, that looks nice. Oh man, a lot of these notes is actually also still. So this where's the use of all this? In the most heated argument, news is I'm still alive. Blah blah blah. All right, never mind. Uh, we are morphing the reality so that the old notes no longer fit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so after round of uh, after round of intros, etc., explanations, they decide on what to do, and that's when contact Mariah. And she's like, why don't you just bring the ship here? Mm -hmm. Why not just bring ship here? And then I... Oh. The next post starts with them chatting with Eve slash Alexis. Um, oh, hang on. Or does it? I think we had some notes for this. Uh, 
Agree to take the ship to beach and segment. They contact Mariah. We've got that ship we're after, and now we need to figure out how to get all this stuff from the wreckage to the new ship. And she replies by saying, surely it would be easier to just come here with the new ship. Mm -hmm. And I think let's keep it so that all the questions and briefing from the ship and meeting Alexis proper could also take place once they have already uh, gotten to the campsite and sort of regrouped and everybody's in their places and, and now like, okay, so let's let's see what this ship is all about. After uh, everything settled slash regrouped, no. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that note there. So that packages everything quite nicely. Mm -hmm. And uh, and everything that happens inside the ship and all the studying and and all that that can happen afterwards. So right now, re regarding uh, the ship, Corey could just be like. Uh, let's hope I still remember how to run this thing, or like mm -hmm. with with all the with all the improvements and mods. Let's see if if I can even get it running, and then ship just sort of starts up and and uh, hovers at a low altitude. Like oh, goody. <laughs> make it even a piloting issue make it a they have like this may this may look like Alexis from the outside but they don't even know what's inside the ship like how it's how it's set up so they they could presume that everything is so new that they might not be their skills might not be up for the thing and then the ship just starts up and like oh okay that's nice <laughs> It's as if it knows where we want to go. Mm. Oh. How could that be? And this could feed into the whole uh, meeting the ship consciousness slash AI slash virtual personality slash everything. Uh, this, this could be one very subtle step on the way so point one when they enter the ship they need to know how to lo like they need to find the command center so the ship could initially look like uh, like it used to superficially from the inside and there could be some guiding lights we, we have used blinking lights as guidance system earlier so there could be some sort of subtle guiding system, like, oh yeah, okay, this is to the command center. Now, everything looks very new and shiny, how do you even fly this thing? No. Boop. So basically, at this point, Alexis already knows where, where she needs to take them, just doesn't show any of the interactivity just yet. Oh, we're flying. I guess that's nice. This needs pulling up here.
Yeah, so everything I said is is basically after they have decided to fly the ship to the campsite. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the discussion about how it's all servos doing, this could happen with all the new crew present. So before they... Uh, this could happen before they go aboard, or this could happen once they uh, have already regrouped at the beach. So which whichever, but they could all be like, uh, well, I don't really know why I was brought here, but there seems to be something bigger going on, whatever. I think it's best to do that with Alexis present. So they they go back to the beach, everyone's regrouped. They've figured out what the ship's all about, and then they sit down all together and discuss what's going on. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, look at that ship! Mm. Yeah, this is nice. Too nice. I'm going to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make a note here that says, uh, Convo on Servo. Maybe. <laughs> Allegedly... Yeah. <laughs> potentially <laughs> happens after they've all regrouped on the beach. Uh, I, I want Alexis to be active here because she's a key part of that, I think. Uh, actually, I was thinking of a different conversation. I was thinking about the still vocalizing the whole so servo is behind all this. Uh, no, I don't like this one day and bit. Because we cut out the hole, he gave you a ship, what else do you want? Like, that that whole outburst is not there yet. Like, I don't I don't mean briefing on the whole multiverse thing, That's that will be Rose's thing, but... Uh, but... Uh, Alexis chiming in, is it's too early for that. Okay. So that would be about here. So they reach the beach. Mm -hmm. uh, then just human crew. <laughs> yeah. And uh, once they, I mean, once they're on the way to the beach, that's where the post should end. Because there's like a whole lot of stuff packed in here. So I think oh. it's easier for us if we if we split it here. Like that? Yeah. Cool. Uh, Without any further commands, Alexis uh, humped quietly and rose to the safe altitude, taking taking course towards the beach. Altitude. There you go. Taking the surprised crew to their beach camp. Something that something like that. I will I will correct it later anyway. But but no before. Okay. That's wrong. Surprised crew towards the beach camp. <laughs> I, know I, just I, I know I will fix it <laughs> later, but <laughs> I had some ideas. Split post. We're ac actually coming up with a decent sized post here, I think. 
plus there is still like a whole lot of the introductions and meeting stuff to unpack mm -hmm. with the others so what people look 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 where I'm pointing Glanced at Smith, glanced to Smith, glanced at Smith. People. So, oh. yeah. I'm just gonna attempt to f uh, figure it out right now. <sighs> but the glancing could be a little bit like, what are you talking about now? <laughs> what, what you're on about? <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we have had a very successful editing adapting for indeed session. it has been a wordy session and we can mm -hmm. now take a break yeah thanks everybody Bye. who checked us out check out the reading samples here that I'm displaying on the screen right now Coast Nova webpage and if you click on this reading samples you will see these <laughs> titles here and these top titles are all the uh, adapted forum posts so for example digs from the forums deja vu and if you scroll down here, you can also find the reading samples uh, category. So, enjoy! And we are now off. Bye! Thanks for watching, bye!